Hello, my name is Bethany. I'm a naturalist here at Tamarack and I'm also a storyteller. And this week is Butterfly Week, Monarch Week, and it reminded me of this folktale from Ireland that I've adapted for us today. One sunny afternoon, a girl and her mom were making dandelion crowns at the park. The mom had finished hers when she got very sleepy. Oh, very sleepy and fell asleep right there in the grass. The daughter was finishing hers up and put her crown on and looked at her mom when she saw her mom take a deep breath in. And then as she breathed out, a butterfly flew right out of her mom's mouth. The girl watched the butterfly as it landed on her mom's knee, fluttered its wings, and went down the path through the grasses, past the flowers. The girl followed it, feeling the grasses brush her ankles. They came to a stream that had stepping stones in it. And the girl watched as the butterfly landed on one of the stepping stones. The girl listened to the trickling sound of the creek and the butterfly took off. The girl went to follow and slid right off of one of those slippery stones. Her foot fell right in the water and she laughed to feel the cold water between her toes. She shook off her foot as she followed the butterfly as it landed on a tall plant next to the stream. A tall plant with purple flowers, fluffy ones. The butterfly landed right on one of those flowers. The girl reached out to touch the plant and, oh, it was sharp. She remembered her mom had told her this was called a, a thistle. The butterfly stayed up there for a while. When the butterfly finally took off again, it went through the underbrush and the girl had to duck and crouch to get through. The butterfly came to a clearing where it landed on something white. The girl came closer and closer and saw that what the butterfly had landed on, what the butterfly was exploring, climbing up one side, down and up the other, was the skull of a deer, climbing on the antlers, climbing over the top of the skull, climbing in and out of the skull. The butterfly took off and flew back through the underbrush, past the thistle, over the stream, down the path, through the grasses, past the flowers, to land on her mom's nose. Mom took a deep breath and <laughs> butterfly flew right inside. Mom woke up and looked at her daughter and said, you would not believe the dream that I just had. I was traveling down a great road through a jungle with flowers that were the size of skyscrapers. And then I came to a great rushing river and crossed it over a wide stone bridge. I was thirsty and suddenly I was sipping from the most beautiful cup that I've ever seen, this purple cup, and sipping of the sweetest juice I've ever had. And then there was a palace, a palace with turrets, with towers, and I climbed the towers, I walked the palace wall, and I went into the palace and saw the beautiful marble walls. And then I woke up. The girl looked at her mom, astonished, and said, Mom, come with me. She grabbed her hand, she pulled her as they went down the narrow path through the grasses with the flowers that had been the size of skyscrapers to the butterfly. They crossed the stream and the girl explained why her feet had gotten so wet over those stepping stones that were still a little slippery. They stopped and gazed at that beautiful thistle that had provided the sweet juice 
for the butterfly and then came to the skull of the deer whose antlers had been the towers of the mom's palace. The mom and daughter looked at each other, amazed at what they'd seen. The mom grabbed the daughter's hand and said, we have both seen wonderful things today. Thank you for listening to the story. I hope you get the chance to go explore nature, to go on an adventure, to see from a different perspective, go down low or up high, and hopefully even see some butterflies.